how's it going everyone um, another guide for you today um, this is a guide on how you can make yourself a planter for the inside of your tank um, whether you want to fill up a little space um, to have some hanging plants in in your tank uh, you want to grow some a nice big ball of moss in there um, or if you just want to have yourself um, a nice immersed planter um, I came across these on eBay. Um, it was actually someone on the uh, UK Aquatic Plant Society forum um, that pointed these out um, and got me interested in, in the first place. Um, I can't remember what his name was, but as soon as I find it, I'll uh, add it into the comments. Um, these cost £1.99 um, on eBay, um, including free postage. Um, I bought three of them because I've, I've got a few little plans in mind for them. Um, I'll show you it out of the packet. There you go, you can see it's got um, some big holes on the front, um, some slot holes on the bottom, um, and then on the back you've got um, two slots there which hold suction cups. Um, you get the suction cups with it. Um, so yeah, so this is how <coughs> you can make it into a planter. You're going to need to get yourself some kind of mesh. Um, again, I bought quite a bit of this on eBay um, a long time ago, um, and it was quite cheap. If I can find the link, um, I will add it um, into the information for the video. Um, but you just need to get yourself um, any kind of mesh. I'm sure you've got something lying around. Um, failing that, you could always use some filter floss. Um, I buy quite a lot of this, so I've always got some lying around. Um, and what you can do is um, put the filter floss in there to block up any holes, fill it with um, any substrate um, and it'll just stop you losing the substrate out of the, uh, the front and the bottom. Um, but I'm going to be using the mesh. So what you do, just put the mesh over the top, push it down to the bottom um, and then you're going to need to get yourself some substrate. I mean I've got this Columbo, Columbo floor base uh, left over from when I set um, this tank up uh, so I'm just going to use that um, what you need to bear in mind is that if you've got a mature tank um, and you're going to put some um, new media sorry some new substrate into the planter then obviously you're going to get some fluctuations in uh, pH um, depending on um, the chemical makeup of your substrate um, you can obviously use um, an inert substrate um, if you can get mesh small enough, you could have some kind of um, coarse sand. Um, it, it's self. It, you can put whatever you want in there. Um, I'm sure sure you'll have your own ideas on how you want it to turn out. Um, this is obviously just the way that I'm doing it. Now what I do is I'll pour the substrate onto the netting. Um, obviously you're going to get any small grains that are going to come through the netting um, but this is um, a, a five mil substrate so this this won't flow through my netting really um, only the really small bits um, so what you want to do as you can see you've got the substrate in there um, make up your own mix if you want to And then obviously you're going to want to put um, whatever plants you want in there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the netting. And then once I've trimmed off the netting, I'm going to start putting some plants in there. Okay, you can see that I've trimmed all of the uh, netting off. I'll show you a close up um, and what I've done around the back is I took the suction cups off 
just folded the netting down and put the cut suction cups back on again just to help hold everything in place. Uh, obviously there's going to be some amount of settling as the, uh, the water soaks into the um, substrate. Um, I'm keeping this planter as a, a nice easy planter, um, just using some moss that I've got lying around. Um, I don't have a great deal um, of immersed plants lying around and I know the moss will do quite well initially. Um, because what I'm going to do is get the moss and I'm going to insert the moss just into the holes at the front. Now I'm not after any design award for this. Um, the moss will, will start taking uh, really well in no time. Um, so I'm not going to do every hole. I'm just doing this at the moment to give you a, an idea. But obviously if you wanted to, you could put a layer of moss on the inside, just go over the whole lot with a layer of moss, um, lay your netting over it and then put your substrate in. But I think you'll end up wasting um, a lot of moss that way because obviously uh, some of it's going to be really compacted and it's just going to end up rotting away. Um, so this is the way that I prefer to do it. like so. So that's just just some moss pushed into the uh, to the front. Um, so it's, it hasn't I haven't pushed it right the way through the netting. This is just on the inside um, of the plastic um, as I say before it penetrates the netting. Um, so once you've done that obviously you're going to want to use your plants from the top. Um, as I say I don't have a fantastic amount but I've got some willow moss which is on a slate um, I'm actually just going to put the slate on there like so remember you can use anything you want um, in this tank here I've got some hydrocotyl japan um, and that will grow lovely immersed um, there are many many plants um, that, that like being submerged and immersed um, so, so you can just choose whatever you want. Um, so yeah, so there you go. I'll show you a, a shot of it in the tank. There you go, you can see the planter in the tank now. Um, over time that moss um, that I pushed into the front will grow, um, covering the whole front of the planter. Um, and you can see the top there, you can see the, uh, the moss on the top. Um, that should go quite nicely and what I'll do as and as I get cuttings of uh, other plants in my tank I'll actually uh, push them into the substrate um, so I'll get more variety growing at the top um, so I hope that's given you a bit of inspiration um, to, to put a planter in your tank it's only uh, say 1.99 for the planter itself mesh is going to cost you a quid something like that um, so yeah nice cheap mod to do to your tank thank you very much for watching um i hope you enjoyed it um and uh say so hopefully it's given you a little bit of inspiration <laughs>